Good morning guys, so today I'm finally filming another what I ate today video, so they're back regularly, hopefully every week, but if not then definitely once every two weeks like before. Ooh, my kitten is crying. And right now it's around 8 o'clock and oh hey this little one is crying because she wants to go out of the room. But basically right now it's around 8 o'clock and I'm going to do my workout and this is day three of my new workout routine because I took a month of break around Christmas and I'm super excited because I feel stronger than ever. My abs are flatter and more defined than ever so this, this break was really a break that I needed I guess. So I'm going to insert a little clip of my workout routine now as always and then I'm going to do to make a lovely porridge oatmeal porridge for breakfast and i'll show you that in a sec and this is my vanessa she's cuteness over the world. is complete and if you're wondering it's from the Skimble workout app and the workout program is called the 10 pound drop and it's awesome the workout took me 35 minutes so now I'm ready for my breakfast I'm going to start cooking the porridge and while it's cooking I leave my husband to supervise it and I'll go and take a shower because I'm super sweaty and as always for my porridge I'm just going to use rolled oats I think they're called jumbo rolled oats because they're quite large and then a cup of milk, a cup of water, a couple of small bananas. They look kind of green, but they're not too bad. I don't know why, but bananas not very nice this year. And then some Salem cinnamon and some Celtic, Celtic sea salt. And that is it. So the porridge is cooking and I'm going to jump into the shower now. And it's unbelievable how good I feel. I mentioned on Instagram the other day that I started trying a new supplement from iHerb called Raw Thyroid. And it has thyroid and a few other complementary glands and it's amazing i haven't exercised i didn't exercise for a month and then i restarted again and literally from the first day i've been smashing all my workouts my muscles are so flexible and there's no pain i recover so quickly so it's just amazing and i'll definitely be talking more about that but in any case if you want to know what's going on in my daily life all of the discoveries i make as I go, then definitely find me on Instagram. It's uh, Vita Lives Free, just like Facebook and everything else. I really love Instagram, so I hope you'll join me there. And now I'm definitely going to the shower. And as I'm such a huge procrastinator, I decided to have some almonds before going to the shower because, well, I need some 
some fuel after my workout so I'm just going to have these and this is my porridge ready to eat it's super soothing and super beautiful so bon appetit it's lunch time now I'm about to start preparing our lunch and I actually have quite a few things already cooked from yesterday so I just need to warm it up and this is going to be a super simple lunch it was actually supposed to be vegetarian because it's the last day of the week before our shopping trip and we didn't have any meat or fish left but then I decided that I need a bit more protein because of my intense workout this morning so I decided to add some sardines, just canned sardines because that's such a good thing to have in the pantry for those kind of days when you need something just to tide you over so I have some leftover beans that I boiled yesterday and these beans are from the farmers market, I don't even know what kind they are somewhere in between white beans and kidney beans they're kind of brownish and they're super super good so I also reserved their cooking liquid which I'm going to use for the soup this evening and then I have one can of sardines for both of us just you know a bit of extra protein I have my lovely Kerrygold butter to warm everything up and then I have four eggs from the market two brown and two white because we like variety and white eggs actually taste really really nice and then I have some green beans apparently after researching on Google these particular beans are called Romano beans because they are it, as you can see they're quite flat and wide um, but they are a sort of variety of green beans and they're really really nice and I just steam them on some butter and some water and they're super good so I'm just going to warm those up and fry the eggs sunny side up and right now while I'm cooking actually while I'm warming up the food I'm having a piece of grana which is kind of like parmesan but slightly less matured and this is my snack for now I love this cheese so much because it's made of raw milk mm. okay my super simple lunch is ready and look at this such a beautiful dish and it literally took me probably 10 minutes to go to put everything together the eggs came out really beautiful while the other plate not so much but obviously I chose the nicer one for the video and so we have everything here we have two four tiny sardines and that is it and I'm obsessed with these plates they're so beautiful we got them from the um, Al Campo supermarket here and they are from a English brand called Churchill which I'm really obsessed with just like these ones these ones are so beautiful and I'm about to tuck in so I'll talk to you later it's evening time so I'm about to make a lovely soup and use up that liquid from boiling the beans that I mentioned before and I decided to make a cauliflower soup because I have some cauliflower in the fridge that needs to be eaten up and the ingredients are super simple literally whatever I had in the fridge that, that needs to be used up so I have a couple of sweet potatoes I have a small onion a leek, cauliflower, potatoes and that's pretty much it and let's get cooking first step is cooking the leek and the onion on a generous amount of butter and then I'm just going to peel the sweet potatoes, chop it up and add the carrots and cook it for a while until they both soften up and then I'm going to add the cauliflower and that's going to be it so now the carrots and the sweet potatoes are in there as well and I just added a couple of bay leaves as always I added bay leaves to every single soup and then I added enough water just to cover all the veggies and a little bit more for the cauliflower that I will add later and then I'll and leave then it to cook for probably 25 minutes or so so the soup is ready now I'm just going to blend it and the soup is now ready it's the perfect consistency it's nice and thick and I just put a little bit of sour cream on top because I love the taste that it gives and a texture and I'm just going to stir it up and we're going to have it with some sourdough bread so this is it for today I hope that you enjoyed the what I ate today video and thanks so much for watching I'll see you in my next video very very soon bye